Hey, good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. This is Reservation Homesteader. If you haven't been on my channel before, every week I try to go over something new that's going on in my homestead. Usually I start like to start out with local events or uh, what's going on in current events. So current events, uh, you know, we still have inflation. Um, the economy is kind of, you know, mysterious right now. We don't know what's going to happen, if things are going to get worse, if things are going to get better. Um, how the election will play into things, how interest rates will play into things. So right now, everything is just people, you know, just don't know, really know what to do. Um, so like I said, you know, before, you know, as a homesteader, you know, try to keep your bills paid, um, keep your expenses low, um, keep your resume handy, um, try to keep cash. Because <clears throat> I said, you know, there's going to be deals, um, you know, because there's going to be people that aren't prepared or they're going to be um you know not in the position that you're in so um you know if you can start you know start setting cash aside or start lowering your expenses whatever because you know you might be able to get some deals in the near future so um and just to kind of give you an example so even though they say inflation is getting better um i don't really know if that's true i'm sure that's nationally that's not locally so you know i've been approached a few times now with individuals trying to sell different things, like things that they they don't really need to live, but you know they had they they bought it was one of their wants, and um, you know they're selling them dirt cheap now, and you know I'm assuming they probably would prefer to have the cash over having a quad or an expensive watch or um, some fancy electronic thing. So I think you know right now is the time. You know start looking for for deals on offer up and what have you um but um recently or locally here we we recently had a police auction i think i went over that in the last video i was able to win two um two of the items at the auction so um i say it's a police auction but it's really like a governmental auction um some of the items were like uh taken by the police from people that were maybe selling drugs or what have you and then um, there's some governmental vehicles like the one I got that was probably fully depreciated or they've got a grant for it so they don't need it anymore <clears throat> so I'm going to be going over those and um, you know I was lucky enough you know like I said to be in the right position to uh, to get them so you know like I said I would uh you know, I advise you to, you know, get in, get in a position where you can, you know, start using this time for, uh, to build your homestead, you know. You might be able to get a new tractor, you might be able to get a UTV, you might be able to get, you know, something that will make your homestead better. So, um, I'm gonna show you what I got. So this is one of the vehicles that I got at the auction. And, see it's a E350 um, put in a new battery it's a pretty sharp van um, I believe it was a, a former uh, police van um, I really can't you know guarantee that but from what I understand that's what it was um, it has a lot of really unique features because, like I said, it, I believe it was a, a police van. So, well, for one, it has a electronic system. So, it has this. This is kind of unique. So, it's built to have a generator. So, you put your generator here. Here are the battery hookups right here exhaust so you know you're not sucking in uh, bad air and then it has um, space for batteries so you can put your uh, marine batteries or whatever and it has a fuse box so this thing you know is already equipped for uh, you know, if you want to live off grid or bug out, 
Um, um, as the outlets here, tires that are relatively new. So, has cabinets in here. And like I said, this is kind of where I where I get the uh, idea that this was a um, police vehicle. I'd imagine it was probably used for with these two little refrigerators, probably for uh, <coughs> maybe a DUI task force, something like that. But you know, it has the electric hookups in here. So like I said, if you want to use this thing as your your bug out vehicle, this would be really cool. Um, you could have this thing stocked and ready to go and, you know, you're off. Or, you know, like I said, you could use, also use this as an off-grid. There's enough room here for, you know, one individual, maybe two individuals to sleep. Two sleeping in the front. So, you know, if you're really in a bind, you need to bug out. You could probably fit, I don't know, four people in here. But, um... You know, I got this very cheap. I'm not going to give the exact price, but I'll say it's less than five thousand dollars. And probably the the biggest selling feature that I I liked was uh, let me get the keys. Was the mileage forty four thousand miles? So. You know, I, I think this is a pretty good um, vehicle. I know what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do with it. I might sell it, but we'll see. But, you know, these are the kind of vehicles that you can get. It runs. Um, and, you know, like I, like I said in um, other past videos, I like to keep the hood open, especially um, in the colder months, it's cold right now because uh, we still get rats. So for whatever reason, if you leave your hood open, the rats come in here and they say, hey, this is a good place to nest. Let's get out of here. Because they, you know, there's no, there's no roof. So there's no, uh, no evidence of rats in here yet. Um, but well, this is one vehicle. And I'll show you the other one. This is the other vehicle that I, I got at the auction. It's a, a 5 Series BMW. Um, I got this. My dad's a snowbird. He comes up from uh, the northern climate. And um, I figured he can use this. When my daughter turns 16, she can use this. But uh, it's a 535i. Relatively. Uh, Relatively good condition. Um, tires need to be, be replaced. Um, I had a mechanic check it out, and uh, he ran everything on there. And the only thing that needs to be done is the uh, tires and maybe the, the rear brakes. But if you look at the interior, this thing is almost new. I don't think anybody's ever sat in this back seat. So, you know, this was from a police auction, so I'd imagine that this was probably uh, um, picked up for uh, somebody that was either selling drugs or using drugs. And, uh, so, you know, this vehicle only has 53,000 miles on it um, so you know, it's in, in relatively good shape and I got this for you know also a very good price I'm not gonna give the exact price but you know it, it was a very good it's less than probably most vehicles I would say Okay, so you guys seen the, uh, the two vehicles that I got. 
and you know they're they're both pretty pretty good i don't really know what i'm going to do with them like i said i think the van is really cool i think that could be like a bug out van or like i don't know if you have off-grid property you could use that that's pretty cool you know the bmw it's still you know it's a little older but it still looks relatively new to me um they both have low mileage um i don't really know you know what i'm gonna do with them um i'm gonna get them fixed up just the, the major stuff i'm not gonna get everything fixed up but i'm gonna get the major fi stuff fixed up so they're usable um but you know that's just some examples you know of you know things that you can get at an auction and like i said it's relatively cheap um uh, less than five thousand dollars so not not a whole bunch of money um i'm sure in the uh, open market both of those vehicles probably would go for uh at least double or triple that so we'll see but um you know like i said you know um keep on being prepared you know because we don't know what the economy's going to be like in the next six months so everybody have a good week if you got any questions you know or if you're interested in either of the vehicles um uh, you know uh um you know tell me in the comments